Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy, disgusting mouth, so viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all, my babies. I love a good Sephora haul. I really do. And I was so excited for this year's Sephora sale because there were so many things that I wanted to pick up and I just didn't want to spend full price on. As y'all know, I don't get a lot of PR. <laughs> and rightfully so. I am a brand risk. I know my place in the universe. So I love partaking in sales like this. I am a Rouge member. I'm not proud of it. Kinda, not really. <laughs> I am a Rouge member and I got 20% off my whole order. With that said, if you are interested in partaking in a sale, the sale is still available until November 6th. You just have to use the code whew, time to save. And keep in mind that Sephora collection stuff, regardless of whatever tier you are in, whether it's Insider, VIB, or Rouge, you can get that for 30% off. So just a friendly heads up. Also, if you did want to partake in the sale and you were thinking, Teresa, what are your recommendations? Well, baby, I got an hour and a half for you, okay? I got an hour and a half video. <laughs> Feel free to watch it. It's fun. It's me just literally being exhausted about makeup, but in a good way, in a good way. Any hoosies. Before I show you all the goods, I do want to say, and this is more for newer viewers because I know my old pumpkins have been with me for so long that they know that this is not me showing off or, you know, just being an obnoxious little twat. That's not the case. So if you are a new viewer, hi, my name is Teresa. I'm a garbage person. I usually like to spend my money so you don't have to. And I feel like that's what a lot of today's video is going to be. All the products that I'm going to be featuring in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing them in videos pretty much all through November and December because yeah, <laughs> because your girl was like, I need it all. And I bought it all. Mm, I feel good about that. So again, this is not me showing off. This is just me showing the products that I purchased. And again, just to really like another heavy disclaimer, don't feel obligated to shop the sale. If you don't want to shop it, don't fucking shop it. Or if you don't have enough funds for the sale, it's fine. You know why? Throughout the next two months, there are going to be so many fucking sales. It's not even funny. And you're probably going to find better things if you shop through the brand directly. So just a big heads up there. So with that said, let me show you all the fun products that I picked up because um, I picked up a lot and there are several different orders and there are some orders that are still being shipped to me, which make me very, 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 very sad. Anyway, now how I like to shop the sale are two different ways. If I can get it in store, <laughs> You best believe, bitch, I'm gonna go to the store and pick some things up. However, there are some products that are just online only. So majority of this stuff are things that I picked up and then a small portion of my online order did reach to me. So I wanna show you some of those things. And of course, when I do get my other stuff in the mail, I will, you know, definitely update y'all and let you know what else I got. Because again, like I said, it's a lot. and. I fucking regret nothing. Anyway, um, let's start with the first store that I went to, which is in the Mall of Millennia. If you don't know, I live in Florida. I don't know why. I live here. <laughs> I'm from New York. I decided to move here. I'm here now. I am a bog witch, okay? <laughs> I am now the bog queen instead of the rat queen, and I'm okay with that. Anyway, in the Mall of Millennia location, which by the way, I've actually never stepped foot in that mall. That mall is pretty AF, okay? Like, ew, I just said AF. Pretty as fuck. Who am I? Okay. If you've never been to that location, I invite you to go check it out. It's very, very nice. The sales associates were lovely, and there were a lot of brands that I got to see in person that I feel like I have never seen an actual physical display for. So it was really cool to actually be able to see stuff. So if you live in Central Florida or if you're ever visiting Orlando and you somehow decide to go to the Mall of Millennia, definitely go check out the support. It's really, really nice. That said, let me show you my first order. We're going to start with this guy here. Oh, listen, baby. I discovered Lawless this year. It is life-changing for me. I love it. They're a basic bitch brand. They do basic bitch products and I'm fucking here for it. I lost my shit when I saw this palette. This is called the Dreamy Dozen palette. This is what she looks like. I don't know. Like, did you fall asleep? I did too. But I mean that in the best way possible. I really enjoyed the palette that I picked up from Lawless, the lavender one. So I'm really, really hoping to have the same experience with this. Granted, did I need this? Probably not. But I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I really love neutral palettes. I don't know, maybe it's because my birthday was a couple of weeks ago and really I am just in my Anne era right now, clearly, as you can see in my fucking eyes. But I am just loving neutrals. And when I saw this, I'm like, <laughs> I need to have it. And I'm also kind of scared because my mom's gonna be visiting and I know she's going to definitely steal this shade from me. Maybe not the rest of the palette, but she will somehow figure out how to pluck that shade out and take it with her, which makes me really sad. So I might as well just buy her one. I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna be a good daughter. I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> Anyway, this is the little neutral palette. She's cute. Ooh. The shimmers feel actually pretty good. All right, all right. 
Here's some quick little swatches. I know they're kind of garbage and you can't really see them very well. I'm actually not going to do a lot of swatches because I asked y'all on Instagram, hey, do you want to see like a hands video or you want to see my fucking face? And a lot of people were like, I want to see your face. So blame the people who wanted to see my face. Um, so that's why <laughs> you're going to get uh, shots from here. Anyway, I'm going to be featuring this video soon, definitely in like a try on and I'm just I'm just so excited for it. So besides this product, I, I also picked up this Lawless product. I love their blushes. I have their watermelon one. It's so good. So when I saw this little DZ pink color, I was like, ah, oh, listen, I am a sucker for these like very delicate baby pinks. And this is just giving me life. It's giving me life. I actually wound up picking up two pinky blushes only because there have been blushes that I've been wanting to try for so long, but I just didn't want to pay full price for them. But anyway, I really do love Lawless's formula and I'm super excited to try this one out. And of course the other pink blush that I am talking about is from Dior. So this I feel like was viral for a little bit and I don't think I've heard anybody really talk about it since then. But this is, I don't think you could see it because I feel like my life are washing it out. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. It's such a very beautiful baby pink color. It's giving me baby spice from Spice Girls. I fucking love it. And there's a beautiful sheen to this blush, which is really nice. This is the Dior Rosy Glow in the shade 001 Pink. Again, I don't think you could fucking see that. I'm so sorry. But now out of curiosity, I want to see how close the Lawless one is. Did I buy the same blush? Kind of not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so between the, again, uh, I'm gonna see if I can just like, I'm gonna put the swatch right here. So the top one is from Lawless, the bottom one is from Dior. There is definitely a difference between the tones of pink, as well as the fact that the Dior one has a shimmer, a little bit of a shine. It's not like glittery or anything like that. It just has like a little bit of a sheen to it, while the Lawless is definitely more on the velvet side, the matte side, but not like a gross, shitty matte where it just feels like it's, you know, slowly strangling you. So that's good. I'm excited. For a second, I was like, what the fuck did I do? No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I feel good about my purchases. And keeping with the pink theme, I really wanted to try this because I've heard nothing but good things about it. And again, I just watch a lot of TikTok. I get sold very easily on some of these products. And I figured, you know what? I haven't purchased anything from The Ordinary in a while. Let's try this one. So this is the Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. It looks like Pepto-Bismol. I couldn't ask for a nicer thing. <laughs> Oh yeah, that is fucking Pepto-Bismol. Oh, shittigals. Okay. I feel like I should be eating this. I don't even know why I'm trying to smell it. I don't have a great sense of smell and it just, it just smells like my hand, whatever that means. Um, so while it is very, very pink, when you do massage it into the skin, you can see I am uncooked chicken. <laughs> so if you are worried that you're going to basically look like Pepto-Bismol, don't you worry, bitch. You're going to be just fine. Anyway, so I'm super excited to try this one out. I've seen people use it as a primer, so I'm curious to try it as a primer as well as including it in my skincare routine. So let's hope that it's good. The next two products are from Summer Fridays. This I literally talk about in every fucking recommendation video, I feel like. This is the Dream Oasis Deep Hydration Serum. I can't even tell you what number bottle this is at this point. It's really, really good. If you suffer from dry skin, this is something that is going to be super, super, super helpful for you. It's going to give you a lot of hydration, a lot of life, and you're just going to look like a plump hot dog. The other thing that I've been wanting to try for a little bit is their moisturizer. So I'm super excited to try the Rich Cushion Cream Ultra Plumping Moisturizer. Because again, I just like looking like a hot dog. I aspire to have hot dog skin. You should too. Pig dick and all. <laughs> Anyway, I got a few lip products, one being from Lawless. This is the Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. And I got it in the color Juicy Watermelon. I've been wanting to try their mask for a minute now. And this looks, if I can open it, that would be amazing, but I can't. Okay. You know what sucks not having nails? Okay. Huh. All right. So this is what she looks like. I am literally almost breaking my fucking nails trying to open it. Not going to open. So I need an adult. I need an adult. Uh <laughs> And I don't even know if he's going to be able to open it. All right, if I can't open this up, I'm going to return it because fuck that. <laughs> But um, yeah, okay, super excited to try that product. Um, I really do like the um, Forget the Filler line, so I'm kind of hoping that I'm going to love this if I ever get to try it. All right, uh, <laughs> that hurt my fucking fingers so much. Ugh. Moving on to another product that's actually easy to open. This is from Summer Fridays. This is the Lip Butter Balm. I have... I think this is like my second or third tube of this, but I never got it in this color, which is, what the hell is it called? Not vegan. I mean, it is vegan. <laughs> this is pink sugar. The color that I have is clear, right? So this is actually kind of really stupid of me to apply it this way because it's over existing lipstick. So that was, you know, not really smart on my part, but... <laughs> 
What I like about this though is that it has like a very, very light pigmentation, a very, very light pink, but not too garish, right? It's just enough pop. But what I love about this particular product is, is that it really hydrates the shit out of my lips. Again, I suffer from dry skin syndrome and that doesn't stop just at my face. It's literally all over my body, including my hands and my lips and my eyeballs, everything, everything's just, I'm a dry, dry bitch basically, except for the places that count. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I grossed myself out with that one. Okay, so anyway, I love this stuff because it's actually a really, really nice lip balm. It's incredibly hydrating and it lasts for a very, very long time. This is something that lives in my bag and I just wanted to try another shade, another flavor, and uh, so far so good. Can't really tell my lips because I already have lipstick on, but it's okay. <laughs> And of course, I think the last lip product I have is from Kaja, and this is Juicy Glass Plumping Lip Oil. I'm so excited to try this because it looks so cute. It looks so cute and it's a little, it's a little thing. I don't know what that is, but I love it. <laughs> It actually kind of reminds me, what's the brand? Is it Ramun? The Japanese soda that has like the little ball in there. Not that I drink soda, but Alex does. And every time we're in a Japanese restaurant that sells that, he usually gets it. And I always go, yay, when he drops the ball in the thing and makes the thing fizz. I am very easily entertained, clearly. <laughs> anyway, this. Okay, yay, for a second I was like, are you gonna be like Lawless? Are you gonna not fucking come out? Great, uh huh. Ooh, ooh, she's like cherry. Oh, I like this. Let's see if I'm going to have any sort of spicy butthole. That's gonna scare me. But I mean, there is like a little like minty kind of a kiss to it. It's not bad, okay. <laughs> For a second, I was like, this could go either way right now, but no, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, I feel good, okay. I don't like plumping lip oils that usually burn the shit out of your lips. It makes you feel like you have a spicy butthole. I am not a fan of that. I know some people really love that, and I question their choices, but for me, it's a no. And I'm glad to say that this, while having like a minty kiss, doesn't feel like it's destroying me, so that's good. I have one more lip product. This is from Milk Makeup. This is another thing that I recommended in my video, the Odyssey Lip Gloss. It's so fucking good. I'm sorry, it's a lip oil gloss and I wanted to get it in this. As you see, it's a fucking theme. I've been really just loving baby pink lately and I wanted to get it in the shade Soul Search and it has a beautiful shimmer to it. And I'm excited, I'm so excited. Yeah, I really actually like lip oil. The more I leave it on, I don't feel like I need to take it off. So that's good, that's really good. Hey, yay, go team, that makes me happy. <laughs> so the next two products I wanted to pick up were from Huda Beauty. This is like the newest powder, this is the Easy Bake and Snatch, and I've always wanted to try the loose setting powder, specifically in the shade Cherry Blossom, because I've heard nothing but good things, and I, I, you know what? I wasn't a fan of the Jones Road pink powder. I don't know, it just, it wasn't for me. But I've heard nothing but good things about this one. So I kind of want to see how the loose setting powder compares to the one that's in a compact. And the reason why I picked up the small one is that like if I hate it, at least this wasn't breaking the bank too much, right? Ooh, the Easy Bake and Snatch. Oh, she's cute. She's really pretty. Oh, she feels really nice too. You know what I also like about this one? Is that the pink shade. Oh, look how cute that is. That's fucking adorable. What I like about this one is it's not like super, super pink. It's just like a nice light pink color. I feel like my issue with the Jones Road one is that it just straight up made me look like fucking Pepto-Bismol and I hated it. I fucking hated it. What I like about this product is that it has like a light pink hue, but it doesn't feel like it's too much. It doesn't feel like, oh yeah, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> As I start to kind of like blend it into the skin, yeah, it's making my skin look nice. Like, all right, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to try it. And then of course the loose setting powder. How the fuck do you open this transformer looking motherfucker thing? Oh, fun, okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. All right, she has like the little sifter guy on, but look at this little puff though. That's cute. Oh, I like that. All right, it's gonna be fun to play with. I'm. <laughs> I'm so excited. Again, shiny keys. I'm easily entertained. Anyway. <laughs> I also picked up two more eyeshadow palettes and they're both from House Labs. I initially was only gonna pick up one, but then I saw both of them in person. And next thing I know it was in my cart. I don't know how that happened. These are really pretty, super, super pretty. And what I love about them is the feel. The feel of the eyeshadows just felt really fucking good. So this is in the shade, the Super Neutrals, which that's kind of adorable. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Bitch, oh, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. I'm excited. I was really hoping that I wasn't like digmatized in the store because I got to swatch them. But I also had Alex and Michael kind of looming over me because they also decided to come with me to the mall. And um, I just, yeah. Uh <laughs> 
it's actually good to have um, people with me so I don't wind up spending like eight hours in the Sephora just like kind of like looking at everything and touching everything so I'm um, kind of having them behind me at like you know just doing this like come on bitch we've been here for an hour uh, it really really helped <laughs> I remember by the time that I was by these, it was just like, okay, wrap it up, bitch. And I'm like, okay, okay, I'm wrapping it up. Oh. Anyway, let me show you the other one. Oh, I'm sorry, they're both called super neutrals. <laughs> uh, this is one, the other one was number two. Like, she is pretty. She is basic as fuck, but she is pretty. The shimmers, they have a beautiful buttery feel. I'm in love. This is good. This is good. Oof. Okay, I cannot wait to put this all over my eyeballs. I have a lot of expectation. When it comes to House Labs, I love them. I love their concealer and their foundation and their powder. And I really sincerely hope that his eyeshadows are good. If not, I will cry uh, because they're too pretty. And the formula feels super, super nice and buttery and smooth and... That's what you want in a shimmer, all right? And I feel like they put my Lawless to shame, and I love Lawless, but like, mmm. <laughs> like side-eyeing my decision with that one right now. So the next product that I picked up was another one of these kits. If you saw my recommendations video, then you saw the green one that I had, which is just, oh, it's so fucking good. I love the makeup bag, and I love the assortment of products in that one. Now, when I looked at the remaining ones, which by the way, I thought that they were just purely like an online only thing, and I was so happy to see that a lot of these sets were actually in person. Person. So it was really nice to be able to see these up close and personal. And I think out of all of them, this is the one that I really liked majority of the stuff. The only thing that really is probably is the thing that I'm not going to use is the lashes, unless somehow in 2024, I decide to start using false lashes. Fucking listen, stranger things have happened, right? <laughs> These are perfect not only for yourself, but also a gift for a loved one. And the fact that you can get them on a discount is even better. So if you're looking for a nice stocking stuffer for someone or again for yourself, because you got to treat yourself, I would say like definitely check out these bags. There's at least like four of them. The one that I really love, there was like a silver one, but it was all perfume. And I'm like, Ugh, I wish it was makeup because I don't really give a shit about perfume. Um, but I could see if you are a perfume lover, then you might actually love it. Uh, but anyway, so what you get in this set, the iconic London Prep Set and Glow. This looks like a beautiful, fun setting spray that looks super fucking sparkly. Love that. The Scary Scary Lashes. Glossier Black Mascara. Benefit Cosmetics Fluff Up Brow Wax in the shade Clear. Then we have this beautiful LYS Matte Cream Blush in the shade Higher Standard. <laughs> So cute. And I like that it actually matches the wine bag. Love that. I wanted to try this so badly. This is from Gisu. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, it's Jisu. Anyway, this is a honey infused hair oil. We have some Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops or whatever the fuck they're called. Huda Beauty Mini Lip Contour in the shade Pinky Brown. We love a neutral lip. Then we have this product from Ilia. This is the Liquid Powder Chromatic Eye Tint as well as this lip gloss. I believe it's a plumping lip gloss from Kosas. Yes, this is the wet lip oil plumping treatment gloss in Jellyfish, which looks pretty cool. I kind of want to see what this Ilia one is all about. Ooh. Oh, it's a very pretty, I don't know if you could fucking see that, but it's a very pretty like champagne-y pink color. I feel like this might look really beautiful, kind of all over the eyes with a little bit of liner. All right, not bad, not too shabby. Um, yeah, like I said, I really like this set. Majority of the products I'm going to use. There's only a couple of things that I'm gonna like pass off to friends, but for the most part, looking pretty good. And again, I just, I'm a sucker for a fucking makeup bag. I am, I can't help it. But anyway, if these are still available, definitely pick one of these up. You will not regret it. I also picked up my favorite dry shampoos from Amika. We have Perk Up and Perk Up Plus. These are fantastic. And then I also decided to try some of their shampoo and conditioner. I have tried um, as of late because as you know, I'm blonde now. Um, <laughs> I got the Buster Brass shampoo. I picked that up. I believe it was like during like Amazon Prime or something like that. I think it was like Prime Day. I don't know. It was like whatever that sale was, they had a couple of Amika products and they had the shampoo and I was like, I'm gonna try this out. And I've been really, really enjoying it. So I've been waiting to try their conditioner and I wanted to pick it up on sale. So I got the conditioner. And then when I was in Sephora, I wound up chatting with this lovely girl who was kind of, you know, talking to me a little bit about shampoo and conditioner and just like hair stuff because I don't really know too much about hair products because my hair is fat witch brownie hair. It's very fine on its own. It has no volume and it usually just sticks right to my head. So we were talking about things that will just give me some volume, some life, some thickening. And she recommended these two products, uh, 3D volume thickening conditioner and shampoo. So we are going to try those as well. And yeah, I'm really, really excited to try more Amika stuff. Now, uh, moving on to more makeup shit. 
we're kind of almost in the home stretch. So the next product is from Kosas. This is the Brow Pop Nano. Again, another product that I recommended in my Sephora recommendations video. This is one of the best eyeliners. I love how thin it is. It's perfect. I love it in the shade taupe. It's amazing. My only issue with this is that you do kind of go through it quickly, but I love the formula of this and I just love how tiny and precise this is and it's just fucking everything. So very, very happy to get two of these guys. Although I'm probably gonna regret not being able to buy more. <sighs> that's how fast I go through them. But whatever, it's fine. <laughs> then I picked up this concealer from Colfi. I've been wanting to try Colfi for a hot minute. And when it comes to some of their complexion products, I only saw stuff online. And I was like, I don't know if any of this is gonna work for me. So I was able to find one concealer that just looks so perfect. This is in the shade Badum. And I am so excited to try this product out. It looks so good. It's definitely a full coverage concealer for sure. And I love that it's it's neutral, it's not too cool, it's not too warm, and it looks like it's going to be a really good match for not only my under eyes, but as well as spot concealing and my favorite thing in the world, basically taking a skin tint and then just layering it with more coverage with a concealer. So <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be very, very happy with this product. Um, but this one, I didn't find in the Mall of Millennia. I actually found it in another Sephora location, which was at Vineland Point. I don't know if, if that means anything to y'all. <laughs> There are quite a few Sephora locations within Orlando. And what I like about this one is that this one has more like unique brands. So I was able to like see this in person as opposed to just looking at it online. Now there was a lot of stuff that I wanted to get from like Rose Ink as well as CL, I think that's what the brand's called, CL. There are two new brands for me. And those were things that I had to buy online. Uh, but this particular Sephora location, I was able to also uh, snag this guy. This is that brand CL. Again, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. They had all their blushes there. I really wanted to try like their foundation. So that was something I had to order online. But their blush though, this is such a beautiful like nude pink color. Oh, it's fantastic. It just gives me a life every time I see it. This is in the shade Bahati. Ah, oh, bitch, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I cannot wait for my other order to come in the mail. I cannot wait to try other stuff from this brand. I just, I love the blush formula. So good, it's so pretty. And of course, the last two products that I picked up from that store were from Glossier. So I got the stretch concealer, which I am familiar with. I liked it in the past. I'm kind of hoping that I still like it today. I got it, but I think I changed the shade though. I think before I used to be like G12. And I know they changed everything. So I got it in the shade like very light too. This seemed like a really nice match. And then I really, really wanted to try the fluid foundation. I just didn't really feel the need to rush out and get it when it came out. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna pick it up during the sale. And again, I got it in the shade too. And I'm super, super, super excited to try this. So definitely be on the lookout uh, for all of these little products in the future. I'm very happy about it. And now let me show you, let me show you some of my online order. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a fucking clown. <laughs> This is from Melt Cosmetics and y'all know I am not a fan. I am not a fan of Nightmare Before Christmas, but these eyeliners now, oh bitch. These are the things that I really wanted. That and kind of the makeup bag. That was it. One of my favorite eyeliners of all time is the shade Culture from Melt Cosmetics. It's this beautiful, orangey brown shade. I know it looks disgusting. That's how much I love it. So when I saw this little orange guy, I was like, oh my God, I cannot wait to try it. And she looks like everything that I wanted to be. This is basically like pumpkin puree. And this makes me so excited. So I picked up the other shade, but that wasn't in my box. It was just this one. So I don't know where the fuck that one is, but whenever it comes here, I cannot wait to play with it. Um, but yes, we got her, which by the way, this is in the shade Terrible Vision. If you're looking for an eyeliner that stays in the waterline, there are two that I just love recommending, especially in the pots. One is Lethal Cosmetics and the other one is Melt Cosmetics, as well as Ingla. I really should say three, but Melt Cosmetics now, there hasn't been one gel pot eyeliner that I've just been upset at. Like they've all been amazing. And it was up to me, I would probably have them all. Like, oh, I fucking, I love it, I love it. But if they ever stop making this shade, Cultra, I will riot. So then, <laughs> then I picked up these. <laughs> I know you're probably saying, where's your highlighters, bitch? Well, I decided if I'm gonna buy highlighters, I'm going to buy the two most expensive highlighters. <laughs> um, so I got the Tom Ford Soleil highlighters from a recommendation from my good friend, Danny, hello nurse. And she sent me a swatch of the highlighters and she was like, bitch, you need to buy these. And she was right, I did. And as soon as my order came in, I dropped everything else and I swatched them. She wasn't fucking around. She wasn't joking. These are everything. So I have it in the shade Grand Paradis, which is a very beautiful gold color. And uh, it's sex. It's, I mean, purely sex. <laughs> 
It comes in a little white drug pouch. We love that for her. These are straight up alien slut sex shades. They're just perfect. This is in the shade Rose I Rise. I think that's how you say it. Probably not. I'm probably butchering that. But this is on um, the pinkier side, like a pinkier champagne color. Oh, oh I am just dripping. <laughs> That sounded disgusting, um, but I am, I am. Um, and I kind of want to try, actually. Uh, let's see. I know I already have highlighter on, but I just want to, where could we add highlighter? To the nose? Oh, she's pretty. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous what I'm doing, but my highlighter is pretty strong because it's from Cali Ray, which is something that I, again, recommended during the sale. If you're looking for a nice, bright ass highlighter. And this is everything that I want it to be. Ugh, all right. <laughs> I. I'm so excited. If you were worried that these were gonna have a cast in you and if you look like me, uncooked chicken, don't worry, baby, you're gonna be fine. I cannot wait to use these in a video. They will be coming up very, very shortly because I just don't think my body can wait any longer. <laughs> they can't. Um. So yes, so we love that for me. <laughs> And again, these highlighters, they're expensive. They're $90 a piece without getting them on sale. And if I'm drunk, I would probably just do one and be like, ooh. But the fact that they were both on sale and it's, you know, whatever, it was my birthday month. <laughs> That was the rationale. And plus, listen, I'm just a slut for a good highlighter. And I mean, ugh, it's just, it's everything. It's everything. She's so glowy. She is so good. Okay, so the other things that I got, one is from the brand Rose Inc. This brand really is kind of interesting to me. I don't really hear a lot of people talking about them and I love the look of some of their products. I saw that they had this beautiful cream colored gift set, which you get a cream blush and a satin colored lipstick. So this is in the shade Heliotrope, which is very, oh, okay. It is a cream product, okay. Oh, very pretty. Very beautiful nude color. Okay, okay. And then let's try the lipstick. Oh, she's cute. Look how tiny she is. <laughs> oh, all right. It's kind of a little bit deeper than I like, but the formula seems very, oh, actually, ooh, I like when it's sheared out. Ooh, that's more my speed. Okay. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. I don't regret this at all. I am happy. <laughs> The other products that I picked up that I haven't received yet was a bronzer, a highlighter, a concealer, and a foundation. So I'm gonna do a full face of rose ink because I'm just really curious to see like what the hype's about, if there is even hype at all. So anyway, love that I saw this little set. Happy that it showed up. And then of course, I got it. Okay, so this is from Westman Atelier. I talked about it in my makeup bingo video and I think out of all the sets, it was kind of like a toss up between this one and another set that was like 160 bucks. That set was like, I just, I couldn't do it. As much as I really wanted the powder blush, I was like, Oh, we're not gonna do that. So instead I got this little guy, which was priced still at $85, but with a discount, it just made it a little bit more exciting. So this is the one that has three different cream products. It has a contour, a blush, and a highlighter. And oh, that is a very beautiful cool tone option. Yes, 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 we love that. So that's the contour. Then we have this really beautiful blush. Gorgeous, love that one. And then of course we have the highlighter. Oh, oh, okay, for a second I was like, where the fuck is the pigment? But she is blinding now holy shit but she's more clear huh kind of looks a little pinky but not really uh, but this oh bitch this looks good oh my god all right i'm so excited about that i feel good now <laughs> I was a little nervous about this one because I have tried some Westman Atelier products in the past and for the most part, I have enjoyed them, but it's been like a hot minute since I picked up something from them that wasn't the skin tint. So I was a little nervous, like, oh, maybe these are not gonna be that great. But so far color wise though, they're pretty good. Last but certainly not least, we have this wonderful gift set from Valentino. And listen, the reason why I wanted to pick it up, I'll be honest with you, is because it came with this little cute makeup bag. This is fucking worth the $50 price tag. Granted, I didn't spend $50, it was $50 with a 20% discount, but this was like, ugh, everything. I really like the finer things in life. I know, it's my downfall, but <laughs> I love luxury products. And I'm like, I don't own anything from Valentino. Like this would be kind of cute to throw in my purse. I really love the size of it. It's small enough that I could just kind of put my little card holder in here and throw it in my bag. And I love that. So this makes me very, very happy. This in itself is fucking worth it. But what you do get in this collection are three little lipsticks. Valentino lipsticks are very, very good. The one thing that I also picked up as well was a couple of things from Valentino, but again, they were like an online order. So they haven't arrived yet. But when they do, I plan on making a video because I really wanted to try their eyeshadow palette. But um, I think what makes me happy too is that not only is this like a beautiful little bag, but the colors are very basic bitch, which is for me. I'm not a daring bitch. I am a basic bitch. These are definitely in the pinky nude realm with the exception of like maybe this middle one. It's a little bit more red, but something that I could definitely fuck with and wear. And oh, 
I don't know. This is just between this and the lipsticks. It's like, I'm very happy. Usually I feel like when it comes to products like this, it's kind of like I'm only getting it for the bag and like fuck whatever the product is. But this is actually something that I would use because their lipsticks are really, really good. That's pretty much some of the, the shit that I got. And there's others. There's always others. But anyway, um, now I would love to hear from y'all. Is anybody uh, partaking in the sale? And if so, what have you got? And has your order shipped yet? Because that was kind of weird that my online order kind of got split up. Um, yeah. Not a fan of that, but it is what it is. <laughs> anyway, let me know if you picked up anything or if you didn't pick up anything, let me know because I love hearing from you. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Everything that I featured in today's video, uh, probably with the exception of like, you know, the fucking hair care stuff, I will be doing videos all month on. So you're gonna have a lot of content between November, and December. You're gonna be so fucking sick of me. It's not even funny. Anyway, with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, Threads, and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, but overall disgusting, really disgusting. Garbage but afloat, couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces, and I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly, and we can be one, and it'll be a great time. Trust and believe. <laughs> If you want to know more information about the products that I featured in today's video, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.